Hello there, this is Dave Allen von No Stylus. I'm going to have a quick look at the latest Evernote application for the iOS because it's been updated to a version 5 and I quite like it. It's got some nice little bits in here, so let's have a look. This is what we see first of all. At the top there you see your recent notes. So there's something I've looked at recently. I can click on that and it comes up quite quickly. Okay, obviously you can add audio notes and you can delete things and you can have a look at the information for the note as well. See what notebook it's going to go into. So at the moment it's set for just standard notebook, but it could be, for instance, I have a notebook specifically for this particular type of information. So there's your note info there. You can share it out. Not many options for sharing out, but you've got Twitter, Facebook and stuff like that, so that's quite handy. The um, the main ones. And I can put pictures in there so I can access the photos. And I can put a picture in there if I wish. So all the ways of uh, getting information into Evernote is pretty easy. So that's quite nice. Then we've got places. And these are notes that were specific to a place. Let's just uh, come out of this here. Let's go to the... Okay, so these are notes that have been uh, tagged in uh, a certain place. So if I tap on this number two here, there's two notes there. And now all I've got to do is to press on that button at the top. And it shows me the notes that are with that place there. So there's a note there with some notes about some Spanish I was learning in the Spanish class. Get back to this here by pressing the elephant in the top corner there. So you can look at this by tags as well. So if I want to look at all the tags that I've done, so if I want to look at something to do with Twitter, let's click on that one. There's 18 tags there made with Twitter in them. Click on something like that there. Okay, so that's things that go into Evernote from Twitter. And we can have a look at by name. So you get all the uh, different type of tags you put into there. It's obviously a good idea to put as many tags in as possible because it makes it easier to find stuff. And you can do a finder tag. So let's put in the video. So there's video and I've got something in there about video audio. So let's tap on that one there. And I can have a look on this one here. And I've got my note up again. So let's go back in search tag. Let's go back into this list here. I can have a look at the notebooks. So here's all the different notebooks that I've made and I'm doing a TFL course at the moment and I can click on that and I can see all the notes there that are uh, based on that. Click on note and I can scroll through the note and do whatever I need to do with that note. So you see it's a lot easier moving through this uh, new version of Evernote. I quite like it, I'm quite impressed. A nice uh, use of the touch screen which makes it easier to find stuff. And let's go through this one here. And if you look through all notes, then you can do a search through the notes, or you can just go through it based upon dates. So looking through the September notes at the moment, there's a lot of September notes there. And we've gone all the way back through to April there. So, so there's a recipe that I've got in there, for instance, for apple crumble. Mmm, that tastes there. Evernote is absolutely marvellous. So I can't recommend it highly enough. And let's go back to this again and as you can see I'm a premium member of this here thanks to the latest Mac Heist. If you didn't get it, tough luck. But I think it is well worth getting anyway at the uh, standard price but uh, I've got a good price there with the Mac Heist thing. And with this here I can set additional mobile security, I can add a pin lock to this and I can also have access to notes offline. And let's see, what are these three buttons up on the top left here? So for instance if this one that one there allows me to add a new note. Let's close that there. And if I want to add a new image, this goes to the camera. So there we go. I can click on take a picture and this will go into the Evernote. And if I like that one, I just got to click on the tick on the bottom corner. And that picture is now in Evernote. How about that? It doesn't allow me to uh, rotate the image there. At least I don't think it does anyway, so I could probably export it out into iPhoto, rotate it and bring it back in again. Be a lot of messing, but I'm not going to do it, so. And we've got this one at the bottom here. What does this do? Oh, this is if you want to have something where you are uh, scanning a note. So what I need to do is I need to get the thing that I'm going to scan within those borders. When I've got it within the borders, that note will go off to Evernote. 
So when you've got a note scanned in like that, the idea is that it'll go off to Evernote and it will get uh, converted into text that can be searched. So it takes a little while for it to be converted into editable text, but uh, I'll be able to go do that later and search for it. And the application just crashed. Lovely. Let's go back into it again. And it's crashed again. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to close it down completely. Let's close it down completely. Let's go back to Evernote again. Well, there you go, Evernote. You're crashing on me. <laughs> A real world test. So this is Dave Allen for No Stylus. And Evernote is pretty good. And I dare say that I'm going to be able to open this again at some point in time. And in the meantime, just enjoy your Evernote and hope it doesn't crash on you. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.